Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are going to be reviewing the P5 5 string from Sire. Let's check it out. This is the Sire P5 5, five string. <laughs> Now, we've already reviewed the four-string version of this bass, however, I am excited to share the five-string version with you all. Big thank you to Sire Guitars for providing this bass to me at an artist discount. This is mine, and I really appreciate it. Now, in my review of the Sire P5 four-string, I gave it a four out of five claw rating, mentioning that the pickup lacked just a little bit of low end and was very high mid heavy, had a lot of clank and growl to it. And though the tone control was very effective, it still lacked just a little bit of that low end, in my opinion. Obviously, you know, you can EQ it and whatnot, but we have a level playing field here on all my reviews and I leave everything at the same settings. The other thing I noted was that the tuners were just a little bit heavy given the lightweight nature of the uh, body, with my four string coming in at like eight and a half pounds or something. So we did get a little bit of neck dive that in my opinion would be rectified with a set of lightweight tuners. That being said, for the price point, I'm not expecting hip shots or anything. Those are just some aspects to note, but overall I could definitely recommend the P5 four string as a quality P bass. With the five string, however, it is also a quality bass, but the five string P bass phenomena is a bit of an enigma. Squire made a five string P bass for a little while and those were discontinued and are now kind of sought after, at least for those in the know in the five string P bass community. They're great mod platforms. People often install a cooler pickup and maybe some lightweight tuners, a better bridge or something. But those Squires are one of the few five string P basses, at least in that budget price range and are no longer being produced. Enter Sire with the P5 five string. And this is now the most affordable five string P bass that you can get. And wow, what a bass you are getting for the 599 price tag. Featuring an alder body with a tort pick guard, the body comes in three colors. We have the red, which my four string is in, the mint green, which this is, and the sunburst, which is the third finish option. And those all have the tort pick guard here. For the pickup, we have the Sire in-house P-style pickup, and we have the Sire bridge with the proprietary screw pattern and the ridged saddles for uh, the string spacing adjustment. You can kind of fine tune the spacing to your liking. Stock though, I believe this is 18 millimeter spacing. For the controls, this is a P bass, so we have a volume and a tone control and that's it. And moving up to the neck, this is where the five series, like the P5 especially shines. We have a glorious roasted maple neck with a, I believe a 45 millimeter nut width, a wonderful profile, 34 inch scale, and we have 21 frets atop of a gloss fingerboard. The back of the neck is satin though, and we'll see that when we flip the base around. Moving up to the headstock, we have a roasted maple headstock as well, because the whole neck is roasted maple. We have the five Sire tuners, as well as the Sire Marcus Miller headstock and lettering. And in my opinion, I think the metallic lettering uh, in front of the roasted maple looks really good. On the other side of the neck, we have a truss rod adjustment at the heel, which makes for easy truss rod adjustments. That's a very good feature there. Now let's go ahead and turn this base around. Around back, we have the string ferrules and the neck plate and nothing else. We do have kind of an angled neck heel here for easier upper fret access. We can also see the back of this roasted maple neck and the back of the Sire open gear tuners here. In my opinion, the tuners are a little bit on the heavy side. Swapping in a set of hip shots for a Sire 5 series bass is definitely a worthwhile mod in my opinion and impacts the balance in a positive way very significantly. And how much does the Sire P5 5 string weigh? This particular example comes in at 9.2 pounds, which is about one pound more than the four string example that I have. Overall, very well weighted for a Fender style five string bass. And how much does the P5 five string bass cost? As I mentioned, this is a 599 instrument in US dollars. I think that that is a great value. Squire no longer makes their five string P bass. And I think the cheapest Fender five string traditional P bass that you can get is the Pro 2. And those come in at around what, 1899 or so? And to be honest, this has a lot of the same features that the American P bass has. We have the gloss fingerboard. We have the string through body bridge. We have a Alnico pickup, 
I mean, there's a lot of great features here that are shared on the American, but we get them with the lesser price tag here. But lesser price doesn't mean lesser quality, let me tell you. This is a quality instrument. But enough talking about the bass. I know you're wondering, what does this bass sound like? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So that is the Sire P5. The pickup here, again, is very mid-heavy, upper mid-heavy, and you get a lot of bark and bite. But the tone control here is very effective, and it allows you to tame that quite a bit. Since we don't have a ton of controls here, this isn't going to be a super long review, but I'm going to try and get through as many of the tones as possible. Let's listen again to this split coil pickup with the tone all the way open. I think that this is just a great sounding bass. Many of you might be wondering how the B string performs on this. This bass is strung up with the SIT Foundation Nickels, gauges 45 to 125. We have a 125 B string, and I think it sounds quite solid on this bass for a 34 inch scale instrument. Very nice sounding B string for a 5 string 34 inch scale P bass. Now let's start messing with this tone control. I'm going to go ahead and take the tone down to about 50%. And here's the tone all the way down. Go ahead and take the tone back up and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pick. Here's my pick. Here's what this sounds like with a pick. I think the B string isn't necessarily the best with a pick. However, finger style, I don't really notice any sort of a big disparity between the B string and the other strings. But with a pick, it's definitely hard to dial in that, uh, that clank on the B, at least in my experience here with these strings. Next, let's take the tone down to about 50%. Do it all again.
here's the tone all the way down. Let's go ahead and put that pick away now. We're gonna bring the tone back up to all the way open and let's go ahead and slap the Sire P5 five string. <laughs> and let's take the tone down to 50% and give it one more slap. And finally, I'm going to open up the tone one more time and let's throw some drums behind this bass. So here are my final thoughts on the Sire P5 five string. This is a great value, especially for being the most affordable five string P bass, at least traditional P bass that you can get. The high quality materials definitely show here. The balance is decent, though I definitely think that lighter tuners would improve the balance situation overall. That being said, for the price tag of $599, we have a ton of great features. The alder body, the roasted maple neck with the gloss fingerboard and the satin finish. The great sounding though, in my opinion, a little overly aggressive on the higher mids. Pickup here, as well as a very functional tone control and a volume control that controls the volume very nicely. So overall, a very well constructed instrument for the $599 price point. Mine does have one small QC issue and that's on the back of the neck. There is just a slightly rougher spot like right around the 16th fret back here. It's just a small spot, though in my opinion, it's probably gonna wear down with time and playing. But I did want to mention that as you know, it is just an imperfection in the back of the finish here on the neck. That being said, overall, the quality control on this particular example is top notch. I haven't noticed anything else, and I think that this bass plays nice, it sounds nice, and overall is a great value for a five string P bass. So what am I going to rate the Sire P5 five string? I'm going to rate this bass four claws out of five. For the $5.99 price tag, you get a heck of an instrument here. This is in the same price ballpark as a Squire that Johnny Dibble had to get three different examples of because of the failing electronics. So for a five string P bass, in my opinion, this is the best value that you can get. There are more expensive examples, and I do plan on checking out the Schecter P5, which does offer a 35 inch scale neck, as well as I believe 19 millimeter spacing, similar to that of our Lakeland 5564, which we have in our stable. I do plan on doing a five string P-Base shootout in the future, and this as well as the Lakeland and the Schecter are going to be featured. Keep an eye out for that. But for the Sire P5 here, what more needs to be said? 
high quality components, great build quality overall, and I am just very impressed with the 5 series of sires. Let me know what you think about the 5 string P5 down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Sire P5 5-string. And as always, until we groove again.